As we're out raking a yard, say, Dad, why are we raking this yard? Because we want to be blessings to these people in this community. And see that light go off in his eyes. As you're a blessing to somebody else in the community, you see them come to you and, and almost in tears, thinking, how can it, you do this for me? And you get the privilege of just saying, because I love you. Or to see God take an entire community and bring it together through this. These are things I didn't expect. The things that God did through us. And the question that I want to leave you with is, as we approach full harvest, God's given us pennies in this world. And we can take them and we can stick them in our pocket. And be okay with that because you earned it. Or you can invest them in eternity. Where they're going to be remembered. And I'm not telling you to bring a lot of money and put it in the plate the next Sunday. I'm asking you, I'm begging you, I'm pleading with you to live a life of sacrifice. Because you've seen in, in my life that when you're willing to give, God will sustain you. I wanted you to see that picture. I wanted you to see that, you no, know, it seemed crazy. And some of you guys, when I, when I said that, I'm giving away half of what, what you guys give me. Yet one of you said, you're nuts. And it is kind of crazy, because nobody does it. But God more than sustained us. He provided for all of our needs. And the coolest part is that he used you to do it. This wasn't my legacy. This is ours. Because without you, I couldn't have done it. And that's true of the work that we have to do in this community. I can't do it myself. You can't do it yourself. But together, when two or three gather in this name, yeah, he's right there. I want that to be the legacy of our church. Not those who tear things down. Not those, thing, those who split things up. But those, th those who build things. Those, th those who advance God's kingdom. We're just about him. Because we pursue holiness. Because we want these kids to know about them. Father, may you take our pennies that you, that you have given us. And as we give them to you, may, may they become investments in eternity. May they be investments in people. We're not concerned about programs here. We're concerned about people. Because that's who you're concerned with. Father, help us to be a church full of individuals who pursue holiness. Why? Because when it comes to our legacy comes to that legacy that we leave behind. We want it to be one of the holiness. Father, give us the courage to live sacrificially because nobody does it. Let's do it because your son did it for us first. He laid down his life, paying the price for us so that we can live. Father, let's live sacrificially so that his name can be lifted. We just thank you and pray. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.